You know, I've had some dark days. I haven't always been the most emotionally healthy person. You know, life can throw some ugly stuff at you and the ones you love. I can recall a feeling of helplessness, not from my own circumstances, but just knowing my mother needed me and I wasn't really in a position to help her, at least not like how I wanted to. I've always considered myself a provider. My mother was a single mom taking care of four kids. So I was the oldest boy and I was the only boy. So I have that bone in me, wanting to do things for my family and friends, take care of everyone, you know, rounds on me. And watching my mom struggle and not having the means to take care of her, that really ate away at me. And the more I thought about it, the more hollow I felt. Have you ever felt like that before? Like hollow? Because your circumstances suck, you're not happy with yourself, you're not happy in your relationship, with your living situation, with your career, or maybe with school. Depression is a steady process. It takes time to take root inside you. I don't believe you just roll over one day and wake up depressed. It's more of a soaking, a fermentation of negative thoughts. One day you wake up and you're 150 proof, gasoline, a ball of negative, sad, hurting, defeated energy. And like a magnifying glass to a sun ray, the depression just magnified the circumstance that got me depressed in the first place. It made all of my problems bigger. It made me feel worse about myself. It was draining, feeling that way. But then I discovered exercise, haphazardly. I just decided one day that I'm gonna start working on my body with the intention to look better. I felt like crap, but I wanted to look better. Things begin to change ever so slightly. You know, I had grown accustomed to depression. Melancholy was like my safe place. It was a safe place for me. But the gym, it made it a little uncomfortable to be sad. It made me more confident. I felt more vital. I even was more comfortable with myself. I started to think of ways to help my mom rather than dwell on her struggle. And I, you could say a new level of maturity found its way into my mind. Yet at the time, I had no idea what was going on, until now. You see, what happened to me was so intricate, yet so simple. Many of us go to the gym to get leaner, stronger, in shape, improve our cardio, our endurance, but what we don't realize is that exercise has many mental benefits as well. Working up a sweat can increase the concentration of norepinephrine and can moderate your brain's response to stress. Exercise also releases endorphins, which is pretty much the key chemical to happiness and euphoria. So before you take antidepressant pills, you might want to consider exercise because it's been proven to be just as effective. And of course, eating healthy also aids this intricate process that your body goes through. It triggers healthy chemical balances within you and that can help you manage and defeat stress and depression. But even deeper, with a healthy body, with healthy chemicals flowing, you're now equipped to fight. You see, my mistake was allowing my mother's circumstances to defeat me. I imagined her being in pain, feeling alone, and honestly, she might not have felt those things. But I truly believe that through exercise, I created an environment that helped me recognize that this was the wrong way of thinking and to start thinking of solutions to help her rather than dwell on her hurt. This is a fit mind. Every action we take begins at thought. Thinking negatively can only result into more negativity and negative actions. It's just the way it works. But my newfound love for working out led me to like-minded people who were working just as hard to improve themselves. And they were able to push me, encourage me, fight with me. It's funny, you'll find that a lot of us who others may deem fitness fanatics, ones that have created amazing results for themselves, are very strong mentally. Because even at the basic level, it takes determination. It takes a strong will, days of pushing through, hours of resisting temptation, years of fighting, of pushing through pain, real pain. If you're feeling depressed, if your heart hurts, if there's pain there, exercise can help you. It may not be the cure, but it's a start. 
See, the thing about pills is that they work and then they wear off and then they work and they wear off and you gotta take the pill again. But exercise creates an environment within you that helps you manage all of this. It's like an investment that continues to pay out and pay out. So get a gym partner, get a friend, a trainer, join a fitness class, a CrossFit gym. Get someone who will work with you on your journey to climb out of that depressive state. Exercise worked for me, it really helped me. You can sit in your house and scream affirmations all day. You can say, I will be better. I will not be depressed. But affirmations only work when you believe them, truly believe them. But you won't believe yourself until you start taking action. And exercise can be a part of that action. I truly believe struggle makes character. It makes us stronger. But you can only become stronger when you fight, when you actually resist depression. And you can liken that unto exercise. Our bodies only adapt with resistance. And likewise, your mind adapts with resistance as well. So resist, my friends. This is Life Sculpt. We're more than a few pounds down. We're more than a few pounds of muscle. We're stronger, we're wiser, we're better than we were yesterday. Fit my fit body. This is Kurt Mac Fit. I'm out.